Okay, uh, what I want to show you here is how to upload your files to the student web server, the sws.mnstate.edu. Uh, what we need to do is we're going to use Fetch, and Fetch is this program at the bottom of your toolbar, at the bottom of your screen that looks like a dog. All right, now you have a lot more uh, icons on there, but it's this one right here. It looks like a dog. It says Fetch above it. You also need to have access to your files. Here are the files that we're going to use to move into your, your uh, student web server. All right, you should have some pictures. You should have an index. Uh, you should have uh, another page on there. These are the ones that we're going to move for me. This is just an old file, so I'll just put it down here. Don't have to worry about that. These are the ones I'm going to move. I got two graphic files right here, and I have two text files. Now they look like a Safari icon because I've already opened up in them in Safari, and that they revert to that, so no big deal. All right, <coughs> excuse me. So what do we need to do is find Fetch, and I'm going to open Fetch up. Just click once open it up. You may get a, uh, a warning like this. Uh, if you do, just click not yet or try, whatever it's going to be. And uh, you will then have a, f a screen that looks like this. New connection. You need to put in your host name. You need to put in your username. And you need to connect using SFTP. That's what you will use. I'm going to use FTP. You will use SFTP. If FS FTP does not work. If SFTP does not work, use FTP. Last year we were using SFTP to go to the student web server. All right. I don't know what the difference is. Okay. So we'll use that, and then you'll put in your password. Do not use this add to keychain. All right. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, I want to show you what my website looks like right now. It's just exciting as all get out. If I just type Ruth M even if I type it right, Ruth M, this is what it looks like. And right now, it is the instructions that we're going to run through right now to op open this up, okay? All right, to get your uh, fetch open. So you open fetch, log into your account. There's the host name you're going to use. Use your username, and you want to connect to SFTP. And again, if that doesn't work, use, F use FTP. So I'll close this right now. I will type in the host name. This is the one I'm going to use. All right, www.msstate.edu. Remember, yours is SWS. Put in your username. That's your email at your email name. I'm going to use FTP. You will use SFTP. And put in your password. And do not add it to the keychain. Leave that unchecked like that. All right. So host name, username, connect using SFTP. That's what you will use and the password. Click on connect and you will have a directory that looks something like this. Notice it'll have SWS up here and it'll have your username. You will have some other things in here. Uh, I have an index file. I have an images folder. I open that up and there's nothing in there. I have a resume folder and there's nothing in there. That's where your resume stuff will be. All right. And then I have all my website stuff that's been up there forever, okay? You will not have this. You might have another file in there, but uh, this is what we have. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to change the name of index to old index. So I will click on this once then click on it again. Don't double click on it. Just click on it once. Wait a second and click on it again. And I want to rename this. And I'm going to use old underscore index. I'm going to make it uppercase. And there's no special reason. You just do not want to delete your original file. Leave that in there. Now if I go to my website, okay, if I go to www slash Ruth M, uh, there's nothing there okay because there's no file if I even do it right even if I do it right there'll still be no file there alright because I've taken the index out alright and I just have this I, I don't want to throw it away I want to leave it alone alright and now what I want to do is move my files up there the first thing I'm going to do is take my index file here drag it into uh, 
the fetch window. Then I'm going to drag the other file, the BG photo, which stands for background photo.html. All right, and I put that in there. Okay, so we've got two HTML files. Now let's go back and look at the ruthm directory. So if I type in www slash ruthm, and I can just I can do that www slash ruthm because I am loading this from MSUM. I can't do this from home. I have to enter the entire address. But here, all I need to do is type that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> I can type that, and you'll notice I have a link here. It says go to a cop, and there's a cop. Now there's a graphic behind there, but since I don't have them loaded, it's not showing up. Notice here. Notice here there is a broken graphic, so there's a graphic missing there. Now I have to load my graphics because there's nothing there and there's nothing here. So what I want to do is if I look in my directory on my computer, I have these two graphics I want to load. Okay, so I can drag both of those over into my fetch window and place them inside the images folder. So well, the easiest way to do this is just open images up and drag those right into there. Okay, you'll notice on the bottom of the screen that uh, you get a little transfer uh, timer that comes up. Now, if we're just transferring these, they're real small, so it doesn't take very long. They're 100, one's 100K, one's 200K. If we're loading larger files like videos or something, it will take a, it'll take a lot longer to do that. So now, I'm going to go, I'm going to hit the back button to go back up into my directory. Here's all my files. There's my new index that I just put in, which is this page right here. I'll reload that, and the graphic should appear. Okay, there's the graphic. Go to a cup, and there's a background graphic of a cup. Now this is tile. This is just it's ugly. I just wanted to load some up there so you can see that. You can move this around, see what happens, right? Okay, now I'm going to take these off here. So uh, if you go to my web page, it'll go back to that old thing that says uh, how to turn fetch on. All right, I'm going to add a, a new folder in here called vids, V-I-D-S, because we're going to do some videos at one point. I'm going to put that in there, so we have vids in there. And I'm going to add another folder called SND, excuse me, which will mean sounds. Okay, so now my directory, I have two files in here. And what you want to do is when you're building a website, you need to make sure that your files have some kind of uh, uh, pattern to them. Keep graphics inside a separate directory. Keep your sound, keep your videos inside these other directories, and only put your HTML files in your main directory. Sometimes, like when we start the resume, the resume will be in a separate directory. But you do want to organize your files. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to take these files out because I want you to look at the uh, index that's in the directory which will be the how to turn fetch on which you've already seen this but I will uh, put that up on the website. Alright so this video well, it's done now so goodbye. This is my first time I ever did this so I hope it works.